my fellow Singaporeans. Tonight, let me share a little bit about my father. In June this year, I followed my father to the elections department where he picked up the forms to apply for COE. While we were there, a reporter asked me, why do you think your father will make a good president? Immediately, an image of my father sprang to my mind. This happened many years ago when he was still an MP. My father had just come back from the hospital after suffering from meningitis. He was very weak, so weak that he could only shuffle around the house with a cane. He could hardly eat, walk, and had to rest. And he was grumbling. He was grumbling non-stop about one thing, nothing else. It was not about his health, about his tiredness, or his physical weakness. Just one thing. He said, I need to get back to my meet the people session. The poor need their food vouchers. They need electricity. They need to take care of their children. I need to go back to my MPS to make sure that they have all that they need. I need to help them. This is my father. So, so I turned to the reporter and I said, he'll make a good president because he has the heart for the people. He has the heart for the people. In case you're wondering, my father has made a full recovery since then. And his heart continues to beat for the people of Singapore. I firmly believe this. And I am not alone in believing this. There are many stories of him giving free medical care to the poor. My father had a clinic in Amaking village. When I was little, I remembered one day when he came back from the clinic with so many cartons of eggs, so many. My mother was wondering what to do with them. She was surprised and baffled, and I think my neighbors were very happy. My father told us the eggs were from a patient who had no money to pay him. So when a chickens laid the eggs, she paid in eggs. And there were others who paid in durians. I love durians. I remember them paying, and it was my favorite kind of payment. In these elections, you must have heard all these stories about him giving this free medical treatment. Or maybe it's the first time that you've heard it. Do you know that this is also the first time for me to hear so many stories from so many people? I never knew it because he never boasted to us about it. He just explained it when the occasion came up. He said, we have enough. We don't need the money. We need to help the poor. He has always had a heart for the people. It has never changed. I've witnessed it for 40 years. Now, I've been out with the volunteers, handing out his flyers all over Singapore. 
You know I've been north, south, east, and west in these last few days. And I continue to hear these stories of his generosity. They say to me, he is a good man. He gave free medical care to my father or my mother or my uncle or my auntie, my sister or my brother or my friend. He is a good man. And do you know what moved me most? When someone told me, he is my hero. As a daughter, I cannot tell you how much it means to hear complete strangers tell you that. It melts your heart utterly and completely. I am so proud to be his daughter. A president must be someone who has a heart for the Singaporeans. He must be able to feel and understand your pain. He must have wisdom and strength to stand with you, to protect your hard-earned money, to encourage you when Singapore is going through tough times, to give us hope for our future and our children's future. Tonight, Tonight, my friends, I am here to tell you, my father is that man! My dear Singaporeans, we have just had a bruising GE. Now is the time to heal. We need a president who can bring healing to our nation. Who better than a doctor? Thank you. If you look, if you look around tonight, you will see supporters who have voted for the ruling party and supporters who have voted for the opposition. Today, they come together because they know we should not fight all the time. There is a time for political fighting, but there is also a time for healing. There is no other candidate like my father who can heal this nation who can heal this divide for the sake of Singapore. We want the best for our country. We want the best for our children. My father as president can draw us together. He alone can do it. He has demonstrated it in his ability to draw supporters from all political parties. My friends, my father has served nation and country throughout his life as a doctor and as an MP. I have no doubt that he will hold us together and make us a stronger nation. So friends, let's stand together as true Singaporeans. My friends, vote for unity. Vote for healing. Vote for the good of Singapore. My friends, think Singaporeans first and vote for Dr. Tan Ching Bok. Thank you.